In this video, we're going to discuss quadratic matrices. Um, a reminder, the playlist for all the videos is at the website, digital-university.org. Um, suppose we had an equation that in general form looked like this. Say we had some coefficient times x squared plus some coefficient times y squared, and then we have a coefficient of a cross term, xy, and let's say this just equals some constant. For the cross term, whatever coefficient we have, it's multiplied by 2. If it's in that form, then this equation can be written like this, a matrix A, B, B, C times the column vector x, y, and also times the row vector x, y. And remember, I think it was in video 7a, whenever you multiply a matrix by a row vector, it's always done on the left. And this, as we'll see in just a moment, is the same as this. It's not at all obvious. So this equals f. Now, let's see. Let's multiply these two out. This will be ax plus by. So you have ax plus by. Then we have bx plus cy. And this is multiplied by the row vector xy. And we say that will equal f. Now remember, when you multiply by a row vector, it's this times the first row plus the second element times the second row. So this will give us a x squared plus b x y. Then here, second element in the row gets multiplied by the second row. So this will be bxy plus cy squared equals f. Or collect our terms, we have ax squared plus cy squared plus 2bxy. All we did here was just collect the terms. We have two of these. But this is, of course, the same as this. So this type of equation can be written in a matrix form. And if we call this, just give this a, well, let's write it down here. So we have A, B, B, C column vector xy times row vector xy. Notice this matrix is symmetric, and we'll take advantage of that in, um, in future videos. Um, what we want to point out here is that this is what is called a quadratic expression. We have We'll call this matrix A times a vector x. It has components x, y. Then on the left, it's multiplied by the transpose of vector x. And 
and that is then the general definition of a quadratic matrix. Here we're now, the matrix A is symmetric. Its off-diagonal elements are equal. Now, let's take, to get a better feel for how quadratic expressions work, let's take this and write it in component form. So we would do that in just a second. X transpose times matrix A times the vector X. Put this in component form. And we're doing it now so that we only have two variables to work with. That is X and Y. So we had the expression X transpose times a matrix A times X. And we are going to write this in only with two variables, X and Y. But now the way it's going to be, of course, is X1 will be X, what we call X2 will be Y. So writing this in component form, we will have the sum xi times like this here this is this equation is now written in a component form matrix a times vector x that's this and then this vector right here is this right here we'll explain this in more detail in just a moment now for here n is just going to go to 2 so we'll just say that n equals 2. So here we have, this is row, this is column, this is we explained in video number 7 when we discussed matrix multiplication. So this part right here will look like this. times, and we'll explain this in just a moment, times the row vector. Okay, here we have row column. I designates the row for this, and it goes from 1 to 2. I is 1. I is 2. J goes from 1 to 2. J is, so here is I is 1, J is 1, I is 1, J is 2. Now I is 2, J is 1, I is 2, J is 2. This is just only, right here, this is just for, there's only one letter right here, so that's going to be a row, row 1 and row 2. Here, and this is matrix multiplication, with matrix multiplication, the first index is a row, the second is a column. Now here, this is not matrix multiplication, so here, I, that could be column. Column 1, column 2. Of course, each column only has one element in it. So, we see then that this, in component form, can be expressed like this, or we can write it like this. This means this. Now, we're working though not with any kind of matrix, but with matrix, with matrices that are symmetric. That is where the off diagonals are equal. So, we can call 
this A, call this C, then if we call this B, this has to be B. So we have now a symmetric matrix. The diagonal elements don't have to be equal, but the off-diagonal elements are. So if we take this transpose, we get the same matrix. Now we have this times x1, x2, times the row vector x1, x2. And if we multiply this out, we'll have AX1, BX2, then here we'll have BX1 plus CX2. Multiplying these, then we have the row vector. Okay, the first element here gets multiplied by the first row. The second element we encounter multiplies the second row. So here we will have a x1 squared plus b x1 x2. Then from here we have plus b x1 x2. plus c x2 squared. Or, as we said before, x1, that's x, x2, that's y. So we would have a x squared plus c y squared plus 2b x, y. So here what we wanted to show is that if we start with this equation saying this is the definition of a quadratic expression, then we put it in component form, and here we just took it to where n equals 2. So we're just dealing with an x1 and an x2 or an x and a y. But we wanted to show you that when we do it like this, following the definition, putting it in component form, which goes to this, then requiring that our matrix here is a symmetric matrix. So here's the diagonal elements, but the off diagonal elements have to be equal to each other. Then do the required multiplication, and we get this. Many uh, equations that are of interest, for example, this could be an ellipse, or it could be a, a parabola, or it could be um, a hyperparabola, are written out like this. Or actually, we might see it just a little bit more complicated. What we might see is having the equation in this form where we have ax squared plus cy squared plus 2bxy plus some coefficient times x plus another coefficient times y equals, say, a constant f. Well, this part right here, that's written as that's the quadratic part times the row vector xy plus then we could just say write it like this d e 
times x y equals f. So this is just written in quadratic form like this and then this we just have dx plus dy equals some constant and then this type of equation can be the equation for an ellipse or a hyperbola or a parabola or even a circle. Now what we want to show though is that this was a quadratic expression just going to n equals 2. Well suppose we had more complicated forms. Suppose it went up to n equals 3 or n equals 4. What kind of expressions would we get then? Uh, that will be the subject matter in the next video. So come back, join us for that video, and then we'll discuss more complicated type of quadratic expressions.